the era of nucleosynthesis, the beginning of primordial nucleosynthesis, how the first atoms formed. Roughly one minute after the Big Bang, the universe had cooled to below 1 billion degrees Kelvin. This was a critical threshold. It meant that, for the first time, the building blocks of matter protons and neutrons could begin to bind together through nuclear fusion. This marked the start of a process known as Big Bang nucleosynthesis. The environment had to meet three strict conditions. The temperature had to drop below a billion Kelvin to allow stable nuclei to form. The density of particles needed to be high enough for frequent collisions. Time had to be just right long enough for fusion to occur, but short enough to prevent particles from decaying before reacting. Here's what happened. The earliest reaction was the fusion of a proton and a neutron, producing a deuterium nucleus D, also called heavy hydrogen. This reaction also released a gamma photon, P plus and gives D plus gamma. Deuterium then served as the foundation for forming heavier atomic nuclei. It fused with another proton to form helium-3. D plus P gives HE. To helium-3 nuclei could then combine to form helium-4. HE plus HE gives HE. This chain of reactions occurred rapidly. Within just a couple of minutes, most of the available neutrons were locked into helium nuclei. By the end of the nucleosynthesis window, which lasted until about three minutes post Big Bang, the universe had achieved a stable elemental composition, about 75% hydrogen, about 25% helium for trace amounts of deuterium, helium-3, and lithium-7 no heavier elements formed during this stage. The reason the universe was cooling to fast. Fusion of elements beyond lithium requires multiple stages and stable environments, which only develop much later in stars. This phase laid the foundation for everything that followed. It created the raw chemical ingredients that would go on to form stars, galaxies, and eventually life itself. From a swirling plasma of high-energy particles, 